Hey guys, what's up? So I'm here doing another video. Um, this video is going to be the November favorites. Yes, I'm four days late. Oh well. Um, I've really only done maybe one or two favorites for the month video. I'm not the kind of person that has 12 videos just on what I like for that month. Because I'm not the kind of person I could understand changing into seasons. You know, from like winter to fall, winter to spring, you know, spring to summer or whatever. I could understand that. Or just the cold weather, the cold weather to warm weather. I could understand that. So I don't really do these videos very often. But we will get started. Because I got a couple of things to show you guys. First thing is blush area, cheek area products. I'm really loving my, um, it's a MAC product, if you could, could, if you could tell by the container, it's a MAC product, by the box it came in, it looks like this, it's from MAC, and it's in Lily Scent. It's a cream blush, like this. It's a kind of peachy, it's a nice peachy kind of color, um, really nice, because it's kind of more of a nude peachy color. It's not really that pink peachy color. Like, I know when you think of peachy, you think of, like, pinks. And it is kind of pink, but it's more like a mauve pink. More nude pink than pink pink. Um, and what I like about it is, you know, I don't want to go too bright and fun for the winter. Because it's more of summer thing. So I use this. It's a cream blush. As a base. And it's very neutral colored. And it looks like this. It's only blend it out a little more. But it looks something like that. And with it for my Amuse palette, I like using I like using this color over here with it because it's not really pinkish where it's more or less of a goldish color. So I get something like that. Sometimes if I want a little more of a pinkness to it, I'll mix it with this color or this color. If I want more of a deeper goldy color, I do these two. You know what I mean? I'll kind of get the brush in both of them, tap it into the lid, mix it. That's why the lid is like so cloudy and dusty. So I'm really into that. I've been using that ever since I bought this. I've had this for a while. Just bought this around the 20th of November. Next for a face product, I'm going to have to say I'm liking this concealer palette here. And I'm really into these two color concealers. They did. Yeah. Basically, these two colors really liking because it's really helping make my skin look even more flawless than usual. Um. And then last. So we got the pterodactyls out of my room and sent it into the basement. Yeah. 
My L'Oreal True wow. Match Super Blendable Concealer. Right? Energy. That's brilliant. Which means fish to get the tear back from the side of the house. Because then you like fish on your cheeks and mom. Yeah. Looks like that when it's not blended out. Okay. This fish trail is set. Here it is, blend it out. Nice coverage. It's medium to full coverage. You bought one? Let me see it. Give me it, I gotta open it. And I use my NYC matte powder foundation. Pretty good coverage. She's downstairs. It's a little darker. You see, this it looks lighter, but I like it because it's really. Heavy, but it doesn't go on heavy, but it is a heavy product. So I really like that for my face. shadows that I really love to use. I like to go neutral on the top lid but fun color on the bottom. So I like to pop cork by Max for more time. Once again. And I put that on the lid blending it with a highlight. Sometimes I don't even put a highlight. And then I put <coughs> This MAC pigment in violet on the bottom. Love it. I did that a lot. Also, out of my profusion for the month of November. I've been really loving. To do my crease, my lid, I like to do this color and this top color. These two colors mixed on my lid. This one and this one mixed together into my crease. And then I'm really liking those. Um, I also like taking this color and this color for my crease. This color and this color for my lid. For this color and this color for my crease. This color and this color for my lid. And then I like taking this color on my as a highlight. Those are like my go-to kind of neutral eyeshadows. Um, those are like my everyday school colors. A little pop of color at the lid, uh, at the under lower lash line is also really nice, but not as much for school. Also, my e.l.f. eyelid primer, I've been using it for a while now, loving it, will still continue to use it. Um... 
Alright, now for our mascaras, eyeliners, and etc. My favorite. Covergirl Lash Blast Lamp. Love the way it lengthens, but it still looks very, very natural. Um, when I do the paint, the purple here as a base, I like using my Max Fluid Line. I love using this stuff. And now for the top lash, the two line, my upper lash line, I like using the, the Fabio liner in black and in brown. These are my two go-tos. And, um, yeah. I'm really liking this pink one from Profusion. It's a mini. Really nice. I also like using my Wet n Wild Natural Blind Lip Shimmer in Spice. And then for a nice neutral lip, I love my Revlon Lustrous Lipstick. And just enough buff. And that's basically everything. Oh, to add some glitter, I like doing using this profusion one, which is a clear with glitter in it. And that's basically it. Um. Oh, and this one now blush in purple. It's Eggplant Frost by Wet Wild. A nice deep purple for the fall and winter. So it's basically everything. Um, you guys tell me your November favorites or just December favorites or favorites in general. Alright, bye guys.